Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of volleyball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from the beautiful new sports arena on the campus of Athens High School for tonight. The sixth ranked Lady Cardinals will take on the 16th ranked Panola College Phillies in a Region 14 East Zone contest. It doesn't get any bigger than this, folks, and the Lady Cardinals can go a long way tonight in clinching a regional playoff berth if, if it with a win over Panola and a Navarro win over Tyler tonight. So if those two things happen, then the Lady Cardinals would guarantee that they would be going to the regional tournament the first week in November down in Baytown at Lee College. I am Benny Rogers, the Sports Information Officer at the college, and I'm joined, like always, by Tim Howard. And, Tim, as I bring you in here tonight, the Lady Cardinals really had to go in their way this season. They do. They look terrific. And uh, as we're watching them warm up, you see why they have got off to that great start. Uh, only one blemish on the record all season long, and that comes at the hands of Navarro. They'll get a chance to rectify that here in a few weeks. Yeah, a week from tonight, Navarro will come here to the sports arena in the game we will have for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network at 7 o'clock next Wednesday night. Here's the thing about it. The Lady Cardinals are 16-1 overall. They are 2-1 in conference play. Panola is 15-4 overall, and they are 1-2 in conference play. In the first meeting between these two down in Carthage last month, the Lady Cardinals won that one by a 3-0 score, 25-22, 25-18, 25-22. So it was tightly contested. Yeah, each one of those uh, sets uh, coming out very close. Uh, but talking with Coach Spain in a little pregame interview earlier, she said, you know what, they're, they're big, they're quick, they're going to play uh, with a lot of passion. Speaking of uh, Panola, but that is echoed even more so against the Lady Cardinal. Well, and absolutely. And here's the thing about it. Here's what the Lady Cardinal program is. Did not make the regional tournament last year because of a quirk in the in the playoff system. And we've all we went over that ad nauseum last year. Yeah. So we won't get on get into that again. But the Lady Cardinals last year knocked off Tyler twice. Tyler went to the national tournament and finished fourth in the nation. Panola won the conference in the region last year but and went on to the national tournament. Now the Lady Cardinals have kind of displaced them just a little bit this year with that first win. So the Lady Cardinals have really got themselves into a position to go into the regional tournament with a full head of steam. Uh, granted, they've got three conference games left, but here's the thing, Tim, all three are at home. And folks, if you're wondering why we were at Athens High School playing these games, that's because Cardinal Gym is going a renovation. It will have a completely new look when you see it when we come your way on Wednesday, October the 17th from the Lady Cardinals wrap-up conference play against Tyler. And Tim, that's a, another credit to the Lady Cardinals this year. They've been a displaced team the entire season. They've not played one home game. They've not had one home practice. They haven't had, even had a locker room at Cardinal Gym. You even think, I mean, just think about that. I mean, I, when I travel out of town for a weekend, I'm, I'm out of sorts. But their whole season, as you said, has, has been that. And to their credit, they have uh, not only survived, but thrived. And that's a credit to Tasha Spain and 
and her kids and, and what they've been able to accomplish. Well, absolutely. Her and Emily Barber have done a great job of keeping this squad together. Of course, that says a lot about the kids, too. Sure. Because, you know, a lot of times kids can find reasons to complain and, that, oh, woe is us, this is not going to happen. This bunch has not done that. And I think this is the folks will see tonight, if they haven't seen a Lady Carter's play this year, and this is the ninth year of the Lady Carter program, and I've been around for all of them. I don't remember a year in which the chemistry of a team was as cohesive and as tight as this bunch really is. Even watching them warm up tonight, I mean, just the, even at stretching and the, the little groups of, of uh, just it's – it's a, a happy team. It's well, it is, and it's, and it's real, too. Yeah. And it's not yeah. something they're just putting on for the fans' it's sake. It's not like it's we're flipping a script, no. we're flipping a mic, and the lights go on. Okay. They are a, uh, a close bunch, and so it'll be fun to watch them tonight against Panola. We do thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network for tonight's webcast, and I will tell you this is the 22nd meeting between the Lady Cardinals and the Phillies. Panola leads the overall series 16-5, and five, but you can throw that number out, Tim, because the only thing that counts is the Lady Cardinals won the first one between these two. If they get this one tonight, and like I said earlier, if Navarro, who is ranked, fifth in the nation, knocks off Tyler, the Lady Carters would clinch a regional 14 uh, tournament berth. Now how much fun would that be next week? Of course, everybody's got to take care of business to get to that. Yeah, but, it's uh, like Tasha said, all we can do is take care of us. Sure. And yeah. that's what she's concentrated on tonight. If the Lady Cardinals do make the regional tournament, it will be the fifth time in the nine-year history of the program, having made it in 2012, 13, 14, and 2016. Now, Tim, when I look back to that 2014 team that went 31-9, and nine, as great as this 16-1 start has been, the Lady Cardinals started that season 17-0. I was going to say, uh, it's reminiscent in it of that 2014 It really team. is. It, it really is. And, and what they've been able to, to do. Uh, and, and, boy, they, you mentioned last year, and we don't want to keep bringing that up, but I think it's important to, to make that disclaimer, that note, because that was a very successful program. This is a, one of the top programs in the nation. No doubt about it. And, la and they're ranked number six, and that's their best ranking in school history. But the Lady Carters were 24-4 and four last year. Yeah. That set a school record for fewest losses in the season, which had been set the previous year with just eight. So you can see what which way the program is trending. Eight losses, four losses, and now just one loss. Here we are, 18 games deep into the season. Well, I want to ask you, I, there's so many – athletes uh, on the floor on both sides just watching. What have you observed through the uh, the season thus far about the Lady Cardinals? The thing that has struck me most about the Lady Cardinals, and, and you and I have watched a lot of games the last few years together, there would be times when really good Lady Cardinal teams would have those lapses on the floor when they'd leave areas uncovered. They would they would kind of go mentally brain dead there for a while. Right. Have not seen this with this bunch, and here's where I think people will notice the, 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 the strength of this Lady Cardinal team is at the dadgum net. They are averaging 14.11 kills per set, per set. That's second wow. in the nation. Wow, yeah, they are very strong at the net, center center line. They have 804 total kills. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can, can get, get arrested in most states for that. <laughs> <laughs> you can get lost in some of those numbers as well uh, because it, it's almost like a number. But think about what you just said, the second in the nation there. So, a lot, of, a lot of athleticism on Coach Tasha Spain's team. And they're, and they're led by Juliana Voss, or she goes by Juju. She's got 213 kills on her own. Amazing she's, start here. She scored 241 points on the season, and she's averaging 4.5 points per set. It's going to be a fun one tonight, Benny. I'm looking forward to it. It really is. And the, like I said, the Phillies coming here 15-4, and, and they are 1-2. and two. They're ranked number 16. Ashley, when the Lady Cardinals beat them back in Carthage last month, Panola was ranked six at the time. Lady Carter's were ranked nine. Wow. So, so they uh, kind of flipped the script, so flip, to speak. Just so to speak, they really have. They really have. Let's see if they can uh, get off to that quick start tonight. We always talk about it. When you talk to Coach Spain, she's like, we want to get off to a good start. But the identity of this team is not that they can't come back, but they have taken advantage of that early start. They get off to quick starts. They have. They have. That has been a tendency of this team to get off to fast starts, but there have been times when they have struggled a little bit. But, Tim, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like not a day difference from what you and I saw a couple of times, two or three times last year, the last couple of years. They just don't leave spots on the floor uncovered like I've seen them do in the past. This team really covers up for each other awfully well. There was a couple of times uh, we could – call it a campfire you know they, they would gather <laughs> around it, last, it last season and they have really uh, improved on that a lot and they, that's not to take away from anything last year but like those little mental lapses those can be huge and the here's the thing the about it we saw this a lot last year when the lady Cardinals went 24 and 4 and 18 of their wins were by 
of their wins were by 3-0 scores. Wow. They're doing that again this year. 16 wins and 12 of them are by 3-0 scores. That is impressive. So uh, if you can sneak one away from this team, you've, you've done something. And of course, uh, next week, Navarro coming to Athens. But like you said, over here at Athens High School. And how about this facility? This oh, is fantastic. Uh, congratulations to the folks at Athens High School for the the, the uh, facility that they've built. It's been a great place, and they've been so gracious to let the Lady Cardinals play here and let the college have a run of the place, and we do appreciate that, of course. And you but it's, but it's going to be – got to yeah. tell you, Tim, I know folks have probably gotten a peek of uh, the new Look Cardinal gym through maybe on the school's Facebook page or my, my Facebook page or on our sports Twitter account, at TVCC Sports. But until you get in there – when you see those beautiful red seats, you see those new scores and media tables, and you see the crow's nest is gone and the broadcast <laughs> tower, the old broadcast tower is gone. I mean, it's, it's, it's and the beams are painted black. I mean, it's, a, it's gonna be phenomenal. It, it, it's really gonna be a, a great setting for our volleyball and basketball teams to play. I can't let you get away though without talking about, well, the crow's nest is gone. It's ironic, sore my knees from trying to get up there <laughs> all those years but, ago. You know, you're one to complain. <laughs> I started covering games there in 1979. How many great memories of oh, that? That's oh. pretty crazy. I was talking to Michael Landers at, at Navarra College, who was the Lady Cardinal head coach and won national titles in 2004 and 2012. And congratulations places to Michael for being named Navarro College Athletic Director yesterday. Absolutely. And I was just talking, I went the other day, I, Tim, I'll tell this story on myself, I went the other day to check on the status of the gym. I found me a seat underneath where the crow's nest was, gotcha. and, and there were just workers in the gym, uh -huh. and I sat there for 10 or 15 minutes and just let my mind just race back with the memories that I had seen in that gym, the athletes and coaches that have come through that gym, the greatness that had come through that gym. And I think that's one of the cool things about it. There rehabbing, restoring it, you know, it's still the same site where all those memories have happened and they've just improved it. So it's going to be awesome. I really do think the college has done a great job over the last few years of preserving the history and tradition and yeah. of, of the program with all the banners and everything. But now then with the new seating, the new scores tables, the new paint painting job that is getting, they're getting some pop. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Folks, you're, you're going to love the place. You're absolutely going to love the place. And that'll be two weeks from tonight. We'll be there. On the, on the 17th, yeah. yeah. I was over there today. The electrical work is proceeding on schedule, so that's the last thing that has to fall into place. And I think we will be there two weeks from tonight, and what a great night it's going to be. We're going to try to pack the place for Tasha Spain and the Lady Cardinals, who, have, like we've talked about earlier, have endured so much this season, being displaced like they have. And uh, we want to pack the place for them. It'll be a huge game. It'll be the sophomores' last game. They've only going to get to play one game in their home gym, wow. which is unfortunate. But the payoff is going to be great. Yeah, it is. And, and, and think about that that tone that they're going to get to set for the uh, the rest of the season. So. Well, that, look at this way. They'll have a chance to go out undefeated at home when, right. <laughs> as <right>. a sophomore. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's going to be terrific, and I am so looking forward to it. We are just a couple of minutes away from the start of this one tonight. It is Trinity Valley. It is Panola. It is number six versus number 16. It is 16 and one versus 15 and four. Going to be a good one, folks. The first time around, it was 25-22, 25-18, 25-22. We expect more of the same tonight. So you are, we are glad you're with us here on the Cardinal Sports Network. And uh, we're going to let you enjoy the action tonight. We'll be here to bring you through it. We're going to let you enjoy a lot of the action on yourself by yourself. But we'll be here, and we're going to bring it to you, and we're about to start the pregame announcements. And when we do, we'll turn it over to Harold Jones, the public address announcer at Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym, who is doubling duty over here at the Athens High School Sports Arena, a beautiful facility. And I hope you get a chance to take it in tonight with our cameras as they pan the crowd and let you take in this new and beautiful sports arena because it is outstanding. Well, I thought... I thought the band was queuing up the national anthem, but it's, it's, it's the fight song. So good for the have the Cardinal Regiment here tonight, the pet band. It's always good to have him here. Hello. Tim Samuels and the bunch came over tonight to lend their support to the Lady Cardinals. It's going to be a festive night here. We've had a nice little crowd fill in behind us. The I'm sure the Cardinal football team will be here shortly, as will the softball team. All our teams do a great job of supporting each other. Cardinal cheerleaders are in street clothes across the way, and they'll keep things livened up on that side of the gym. Love it. Or maybe I should call this an arena. A gym, I, gym doesn't do this one justice. I was gonna say, it, it is a, a, a nice arena here on the Athens ISD campus. So, uh, congratulations again to them, and good things going on in Athens. Absolutely. And 
The college is very proud that Athens High School and thankful that Athens High School allowed us use of this facility while uh, Cardinal Jim is getting a new look. Amber McRae's in her six years head coach, her eighth overall at Panola College. She played volleyball at the University of Florida, and she's a graduate of Pine Tree High School there in Longview. Hi, my name is Audrey Lopez. I'm from Archer City, and I'm a DS. Go Cards. Hi, my name is Olivia Kimura. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm DS. Hi, I'm Robin Disserance. I'm from North Zolich, and I'm a DS. My name is Erica Earhart. I'm from Trinidad, Texas, and I'm a right side hitter. Hi, my name is Paige Brown. I'm from Conroe, Texas, and I'm a DS. Hi, my name is Carolina Leite. I'm from Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, and I'm right side hitter. Hello, my name is Juliana Vaz. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm an outside hitter. Hi, my name is Maria Luisa. I'm from Primavera do Leste, Brazil, and I'm a right side hitter. Hi, my name is Lauren Almute. I'm from Mineola, Texas, and I'm a right side hitter. Hello, my name is Yasmin da Silva. I'm from Santa Catarina, Brazil, and I'm outside hitter. Hi, my name is Ana Paula. I'm from Belo Horizonte, Brazil, and I'm a setter. Hi, my name is Haley Purcelli. I'm from Eustis, Texas, and I'm a setter. Hi, I'm Alicia Bowersfeld. I'm from the Woodlands, Texas, and I'm an outside hitter. Hello, my name is Kawani Krajinski. I'm from Santa Catarina, Brazil, and I'm a setter. Hi, my name is Emma Baker, and I'm from North Zolich, Texas, and I'm a setter. My name is Kelly Reagan. I'm from Grand Prairie, Texas, and I'm a middle blocker. Hi, my name is Lauren Castles. I'm from Archer City, Texas, and I'm a middle blocker. Tasha Spain, the only coach in program history, is in her ninth year here at the college at Trinity Valley alone. She is 173 and 113. 
She was 65 and 48 previous to that at Athens High School, giving her an overall coaching record of 238, 161. Yeah, she's uh, owned on that record and done a terrific job leading the Cardinals program. Well, folks, well, here we go. Number six versus number 16. A lot on the line for the Lady Cardinals tonight. A win here, coupled with a Navarro win over Tyler, and I think that game's in Corso Cannon tonight. And the Lady Cardinals would clinch their fifth regional tournament berth in nine years. Not bad for a young program, Tim. I was going to say, it's almost like they uh, never experienced growing pains, you know, uh, just took off pretty fast as far as those things go. There's some programs that have yet to taste the experience of uh, what they've already accomplished. Looking at the conference standings of the East Zone going into tonight's action, Navarro is 3-0, and the Lady Cardinals are 2-1, and Panola is 1-2, and and Tyler is 0-3. There are three conference games left, and all three of the Lady Cardinals' conference, remaining conference games are at home next week here at the Athens High School Sports Arena, and then in two weeks on uh, the 17th against uh, Tyler at the New Look Cardinal Gym. Looking forward to that. And uh, this one tonight, Panola in Athens to take on the Lady Cards of Trinity Valley. See Audrey Lopez checking in, the libero checking in for the Lady Cardinals. Number one, have two kids from Archer City, Texas, starting in for the Lady Cardinals tonight in Lauren Castles and Audrey Lopez. What are the odds of that happening? Archer City going to be uh, well represented tonight in Athens. Be first serve for the Phillies, and here we're underway. Boz with an attempted kill. Good block by the Phillies. And the first point will go to the Phillies, courtesy of number 13, Thanara Godoa. Yeah, she's, uh, she's going to be strong at the net. For the Lady Cardinals spot, Panola, a 1-0 lead. Set by Lopez. Earhart puts it across the net. And of course, Erica Earhart is no stranger to local volleyball fans because she's a starter for a star from the past four years at Trinidad High School, leading Trinidad to the state tournament a year ago. Well, that was good teamwork there to have vision down floor. Boss with a serve. Nice serve. Well handled by the Phillies. Sendona with a set. And Castles with the kill. I tell you what, that was coming at her. That's what I was touching on earlier, Tim, about the Lady Cardinals at the net this year. They're just so much stronger than they've been in years past. Absolutely, and coming up uh, big there, now claiming a 2-1 lead. Boss with that big running jump serve, very powerful serve. And that one sails out of bounds wide, and the Lady Cardinals will take a 3-1 lead here early on in this first set of this Region 14 East Zone contest. Three unanswered points here after uh, the, the early lead by Panola. And that was gonna, was gonna say along, but it <laughs> hit the linesman. <laughs> the linesman is, uh, fortunately he's back up. He's not needing attention. <laughs> well, when she hits that ball, you feel it going by the score. You definitely table. do. Michaela Ware at the service line, a freshman out of San Antonio, Texas for the Phillies, number 22. The set by Zendona. A big hit, big kill from Da Silva on the Lady Cardinals, and the Lady Cardinals extend their lead to 4-2. How about Yasmin Da Silva? She is something else out of Brazil, 6-1 freshman. Castles at the service line. And that one sails into the net, and that just drives coaches insane. <laughs> yeah, Lauren a little, little frustrated about that one as she comes off the floor. You've got Reagan, Zendona, and Earhart across the front line at the net, and that's going to be an unforced error there. And we're tied at 4-4 just like that. We expect this to be tight, folks, the entire way. Yeah, as uh, you mentioned in the pregame earlier this year, three tight sets. Into the net there, so... Uh, Block sails out of bounds. Point goes to the Lady Cardinals. It went off of number 15, Rabius, for the Phillies. So back to a 5-4 advantage. Glad to have you with us here on the Cardinal Sports Network. 
point will go to the uh, Lady Cards. 6-4. Lady Cardinals, as a matter of fact, Tim, in the first meeting over Carthage, Lady Cardinals got down a couple of times, I think in that second set significantly, and fought back. And Tasha Spain told me afterwards that she was really proud that night because it had been real easy with that loud crowd that was in there at Carthage that night to have gotten down and not had any fight left in them. But the Lady Cardinals didn't do that. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's one of the bonuses when you have to fight all the way back because at some point in the season you're going to be tested. And uh, they've had some moments in this season. They're back on top tonight. Kamura at the service line for the Lady Cards. Reagan at the net. Boy, she's something, isn't she? Amber McCray's asking for an explanation from one of the officials. Kelly Reagan just uh, manhandled her at the, at the net. 6'2 sophomore from Grand Prairie. South Grand Prairie High School. A warrior. Great job, Benzazona, keeping the point alive. Big hit. That sails long. Point will go to the Lady Cars. Lady Cars on a little roll here now, Tim. They and they have a timeout, Panola. Yeah, they've extended it to a five-point advantage, and all of a sudden you look up, and this one's getting away from them, so they're going to talk it over on the Panola side. And this is a big building with the crowds very loud behind us tonight. Yeah, and uh, rightfully so. There's some, some exchanges going on at that net. You're seeing them bring it. And it's great to have the Cardinal Regiment pet band with us as long with the cheerleaders in addition to our other groups that are coming in. And like I said, I expect the football team will be here in mass as soon as they get through with their workout and everything. They're preparing for a big game against 17th ring Kilgore Saturday in Kilgore. Yeah, taking on the uh, heading down on the road again this week. Uh, so uh, big one on, on Saturday for the Cardinals football team. And that one starts at 5 p.m., folks, and you can listen to that locally on KCK on 95.9 FM, online at network1sports.com, and you can watch it on Facebook Live if you go to the Henderson County Sports TV page on, on Facebook. You can watch it as well. So there's the ways that you can check out the Cardinal football team this Saturday. Of course, there's a, there's a rather big football game in Dallas Saturday morning as well. A little uh, Texas OU say, action going on. It took, if you're scoring at home, all of uh, one set to get that <laughs> work in by Benny Rogers. No, I'm actually looking forward to that. That's going to be a fun one. Both teams have a good season. Resuming play. Nice and serve. the Lady Cardinals are going to build on that lead, Tim. They're going to make the 10-4 lead all of a sudden, just like that. And now we've got back-to-back -back points by Kimura at the service line for the Lady Cards. Yeah, Ramirez really didn't have a chance with that. That one had her backpedaling and trying to deal with that massive serve. And Evan sails wide. The, the Phillies are a little out of sorts here right now. Yeah, they're feeling a, a little bit of sting of pressure right now, I think, because they got off to the lead, and then Trinity Valley flipped that around immediately and hasn't yeah, looked back. It was 4-4. It was tied 4-4. Now they've reeled off seven straight points. Got really hot in a hurry. Oh, great kill that time. Very nice job by the Phillies getting a clean kill. So tough to defend when that <laughs> thing is coming at you. I mean, we're – we're in a much different set, so I think hard hats are in order. I don't know if that's <laughs> yeah. part we're not of at, our... We're not at the con friendly confines <laughs> and safe confines of our scores tower anymore. That's right. That's right. Oh, a great block. You've got to credit number 12, no. Lozoya, with a great block because, I mean, when Juliana Boss, Juju, hits the ball, it stays hit. Yeah, Alyssa Lozoya out of uh, – Chapin High School in El Paso made that play. And the Phillies fight back now with two straight points. Big hit that's going to go out of bounds off the net, and the point will go to the Phillies. And just like that, Tim, it was 11-4, and now look up in his 11-7. Yeah, still got a ways to go, but uh, Coach Spain, you can see it on her face. She wants him to break serve right here. That was a poor job of setting that time and never gave the – a chance at the kill. That's a uh, just one of those ball handling errors there. It just shows you how quickly it can turn, Tim. Yeah, absolutely. Point's going to go to the Phillies. That sails out of bounds. The Lady Cardinals are a little out of sorts at the net a little bit now. If you notice, their sets are not in the perfect position, and they're 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 not they're making it easy for Panola to become engaged off of their own sets. Five in a row for Panolas if the cards can answer. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, I don't put a stop to that. The Silva says that's enough of that. Yeah, she had she had seen enough of that uh, scoreboard moving on the other side. So. And now she will go to the service line. It's the serve in play. That's going to sell long. That went off of Santana. So good opportunity here to go ahead and get that cushion back and pull away again. It is the first one to 25. You must win by two. Best of, best of three. Best of five, I'm sorry. If he goes to a fifth set, then he goes to 15. Great set by Zendona and... Reagan tried to finesse that one instead of kill it, but she came up a little short. Yeah, she will want that one back. Uh, probably as she hits the pillow tonight, think, boy, I had that set for a nice kill. And she just tried to dink it over the net. That one sails long. Great job of Lopez of deciding to let that one go. Totally. That's a tough spot she was in, but she still had the presence of mind to know where she was at on the court. Last minute pulled back. Castles back into the contest with Zendona and Boss at the net. Oh, a nice dying serve. Beautiful. Great set. Boss with the kill. Castles with the winner. How about that? Nice. Lauren Castles. What a nice freshman she's turned out to be for the uh, Lady Cards this season. Yeah, out of Archer City, uh, six foot two freshman playing with some confidence there that time. Nice stunt, nice job. What do you say about the Silva? Castles with another big hit. Great block by Julianne Voss. My Juju in action. Well done, Juliana. Yeah, Juju just doing what she does there. And the Phillies use their second and final timeout of this second set. 16-10, I think, is a great timeout by Amber McCray because she senses the Lady Cardinals are on one of their pullaways again, and there's not as much margin for error now as there was when it was early in the contest. Yeah, they uh, took a, a timeout earlier. It did help them, and uh, the Cardinals got back in focus, uh, laser focus, so to speak, and pulled away again. So, you know, like we talked about the early going, the pregame, this team, they have, boy, they're loaded all the way across. The, you, you look up front at the net, they're strong. They've got the speed to get back. They've got the, the abilities to dig. They're strong attacking, uh, ball handling. They're a good squad. Oh, they're, this is the most solid squad I think Tosh has had. And like I said, that I'm not taking anything away from that 2014 squad. Right. They went 31 and nine. They've set the standard by now. The other squads will be judged. Seven. Yeah. and everything, but this, this team is really has that sense that there's some special, something really special about it. I think you're on, I think they're on to something right, right here this year. Lopez at the service line, we resume play. A nice block by Castles. How many times have we said that so far tonight? I know in the last three uh, moments, back to back to back, she is just coming alive here now. 17-10, Lauren Castles. So but important to win this first set. Just dominant up front. She got a block there as well. Great job by the Phillies that time. I was going to say, credit the Phillies for not losing uh, that momentum there because they could have very easily had that one come back on, but they returned and then eventually were able to get the kill. So. Absolutely. Hazoya at the service line. It's, it's, it's going to be an ace serve. Lady Carter's made the decision then not to play that one, and that was the wrong decision as that turned out to be. So tough sometimes, you're, you know, you, it's easy to lose yourself on that floor. And then <laughs> they give it back. I couldn't coach volleyball because when that <laughs> happened, I'd be wanting to kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, it, and they don't do it on purpose. I don't mean to imply that. No, no. It, but, but it happens. Yeah, but I can, I can tell that that gets under your skin just a little bit. <laughs> the headset gets to pay the price for that one. <laughs> Zendona with the serve. Oh, my goodness. Great block by Juliana Boss. She is something else. Juju, get it done, girl. Juju be getting it done. 5'10", sophomore out of Rio. 
Rio Grande do Sul. Zendona at the service line. Excuse me, Rio de Janeiro. That was a, Lauren Castles at the net. Lauren's like, man, that was too easy for her. She, she just dominating up front. I know this is your first time to see the Lady Cardinals this season, but some of the things I told you earlier, you can see what I was talking you about. You are not lying. You are <laughs> spot on, man. They are not passive at the net. Oh, my goodness. That surge sailed way long. Just a bit outside. <laughs> <laughs> we are at 2013 here in this first set of this Region 14 Conference East Zone Contest. Lady Cardinals defeated Panola 3-0 in Carthage last month. Sendona with a set, Castles with a little dink. Kept in play by the Phillies. And that one's gonna find one of those vacant spots that I said the Lady Cardinals weren't leaving this year. Yeah, they, they did a good job to push, push that back as the Lady Cards were creeping in. It was 4-4 early on, folks, and the Lady Cardinals have been in control since then, but since a little bit of a surge here potentially by the Phillies. And Juju says, not so much, Benny, not so much. <laughs> I got something to say about that. <laughs> and now she goes to the service line with a chance to close it out. And we mentioned earlier that she's averaging 4.5 uh, points per set, and she picked up three points the first time she went to the service line. Oh, I don't want to be trying to field that. That was a nasty spin. Nice kill that time by number 11, Yasmin Da Silva. 22-14, Lady Cardinals closing in on this first set. 4-4, four, four, and since then you can do the math. Big serve. Power. <laughs> Great job by Lopez. Castles with the kill. And that is gonna sell out of bounds off the Lady Cardinals. A point will go to the Phillies. They creep within seven, 22 to 15. First one to 25, must win by two. Impressed with the Lady Cardinals and their just uh, their, their strength at the line. I mean, they, you know, it, you, you're not seeing an empty spot to try and attack. They're strung across the board. They're contesting everything at the net too. We have, yeah. That hasn't always been the case in some years of potentially. They're, they're dominant. Boom. That was going to sell long. Erica Earhart. Like to have that one back. Yeah, just a little bit. Take a little bit off of that one. Got wound up a little bit too much. Ware at the service line. Silva. The Silva with the kill and the point. Yes, I mean, the Silva with some power on that. A couple of uh, lady cards going to check in here. Paige Brown checks into the contest for the first time as she will go directly to the service line. Sophomore out of Conroe, Texas. Nice little dying serve. Nice block back at Reagan. And we are at set point. Lady Cardinals 24-16 trying to close this first one out. Oh, by the way, Reagan just checks back. Boom. <laughs> In case you forgot. <laughs> Brown with the serve. Almost got there. Just ran out of time there. Good try from Zandona. Bosco's attempting to save it. It is 24-17, so Lady Carter's still in good shape here. You just don't want to let uh, Panola get on any kind of roll here at the service line and rack up two or three quick points on you. Then you have some little tenseness gets back into it. Earhart, big hit, and that's going to do the make the first set go become history. 25 to 17, Lady Cardinals in the first set. In a first set that took 19 minutes to complete, and we will head to the second set with the Lady Cardinals up 1-0. Tim. Wow, I'm just blown away. That's a strong squad that Coach Spain has. And I, let me correct something real quick because a few moments ago I was talking about. Uh, I almost tried to say. Uh, Juju was out of Rio Grande. Now give me a break. We got six Brazilian players on the team. So we got right above her is Leche, Leche, and uh, she's out of Rio Grande de Sul, Brazil. So I'll give you a pass on yeah, that. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
I think there are seven international players on the squad. Is that all? I, so. I think so. <laughs> they are. A, they are a diverse group, but they are so tight. I love it. You can see it. You can see it on the floor. You can see it off the floor. And they are. Uh, there's something special here in 2018. But a but a great win by the uh, Lady Cardinals, as we've talked so much in the past. Now, if you can get this second set, you put all of the pressure on top of. Uh, Panola then to have to win three straight. Yeah, that's it, it's done before it's it happens, but boy, it is tough to do. So, fun one going on here at Athens High School tonight. If you're just tuning in uh, in Athens, eventually back to uh, Cardinal Gym here in a couple of weeks. We will be here again next Wednesday night when Navarro, ranked number five in the nation, 24 and two on the season, comes to town. They beat the Lady Cardinals 3-1 the first time around. And then on the two weeks from tonight will be a very special night, folks. We hope you'll join us live at Cardinal Gym. But if not, we hope you will join us on the Cardinal Sports Network as the new look Cardinal Gym reopens for uh, activities. And the Lady Cardinals will have the privilege and the honor of being the first event there, and rightfully so. It's going to be fantastic, and looking forward to seeing everyone there for that. So. See members of the Cardinal Cheer Squad across the way on your screen. They're enjoying tonight's festivities because they are the 11th time national champions. Trying to, will go for number 12 this spring in Daytona Beach, Florida. Of course, I see members of the Lady Cardinal basketball team here. They'll be going for a ninth national championship, hopefully in March out in Lubbock. And they've made the regional champion, the national championship game three straight years now. That, to go all the way to that, that is impressive stuff. So Coach Ewing and his, his team trying to get back and, and uh, get it all the way done this year. We'll see. You know, injuries are always so such a part of the game, and it's interesting to see how all that all shakes out. So, And we, men and we mentioned, Tim, sorry, we mentioned that the volleyball team has been displaced, but the basketball team has been displaced too. Now, not to the degree, because they've still got their locker rooms, that they've been able to, to, to be have some normalcy. But the Lady, Cardin the Lady Cardinals have been working out at the Annex Gym here on the Athens High School campus, yeah. and the Cardinals have been working out at Eustis High School since the season began. So, so it's, it's uh, you know, it's some some pain in the in, in the short term, but long term it's going to be yeah, it's all and, worth and, it. Yeah, and the coaches have all said in the end it'll be worth it. They'll have that nice building to recruit to, and you've got the tradition to recruit to already in a great campus and a great family atmosphere, but now then you'll have some pop in the gym. And Coach Furr will be able to invite people into his office and say, look at my wall. Didn't that turn it's, out cool? That's the most impressive thing you'll ever see. If you haven't seen it or don't know what we're talking about, the part of the bleachers were turned into the, the, the wall. wall. His feature wall in his office just to, really cool. to, to capture the history of those bleachers that had been there for 51 years since his building opened in 1967 and we're about ready to get underway here in the uh, second set and I'm going to turn it over to Tim Howard. Thank you Denny Rogers. Uh, the Cardinals take the first set 25-17 and set to serve for Trinity Valley. It's going to be number 12 Anna Paula Zandona. So a little encouragement there. From Juju Vaz. Well, they're fun. You yeah, can, you can tell they have fun. Oh, you there. absolutely, you sure can. See what uh, how this one starts out. Got a little bit of delay here at the scores table, and then we'll be ready to roll here from Athens High School. Trinity Valley taking the first set, coming in on the year with a uh, record of 16 and one. Two and one in conference play. Big conference game tonight, and here comes the serve. Sandona pushes it back. Good, good return that time. I believe that was uh, Korea, Daphne Korea. Yeah, that was a great job by the Phillies that time, and that's a great start to this second set, which they needed having lost that first set 25 to 17. Ware will serve for the Ponies. Push back, trying to set it up at the line, and it'll sneak across. A lot of energy in this one. A week. great job on that back row that time for the Lady Cardinals, but the Silva. Well, there's a new pep in the step of the uh, Phillies. They're up 2-0. 
Lazoya on the uh, return that time. Yeah, Amber McCray has really done a great job during that uh, change between sets of getting her team fired up and getting them refocused. And they've gotten off to a good start now here in this second set. Oh, might have got a break there. That one was probably hit. It was sailing long. That was definitely sailing long, yes. So got a little help there on the back line there. One of the uh, Phillies got a hold of it. Crowd is filled in behind us here on the home side. At the service line, number seven, Juju. Chabaz sends that across. Wow. A great job by the Phillies in detecting what portion of the floor was open, and Juju goes and dives for it, and Juju does not get up as quickly as she normally does, and you want Juju up as, on her feet as fast as you can because you can ill afford to lose her. So I think she's okay. Just a little bit shaken up on the play. A ding on that right elbow. You saw her in the monitor there. She's, on it. she's a bundle of energy. Boy, the Phillies are on fire. Phillies they, are on fire, Tim. That's a great way to describe it. Four are, to one. They have uh, made a four wide lead here. Trinity Valley just needs to kind of Reset, refocus. They really do, and I think if the Panola picks up another point or two, you'll see Tasha Spain use a timeout to uh, kind of reset things and let them catch their breath just a little bit. Got some wet spots on the floor, so that's going to help to some degree of slowing down the Phillies. So at the uh, service stripe, it's going to be Lazoya. Jump serve across. Nice return, and you can't handle that one as no, no. Uh, Yasmin De Silva. De Silva yeah, De Silva's got a big hit. And think about, uh, you look at De Silva, and she's just a freshman, so she'll be back next year. I don't know if you could pick it up on the uh, monitor there, but you could see that intensity in her eyes there. She felt that one. Nice serve to get it across. Castles with the set. There she is again. And then she comes back. She got that ball in the middle of the court, set it up, and then they brought it back across to her, and she finished. She is all over the court. <laughs> Lady Cardinals fight back. Lauren Castle's at the line. Tough one to handle. Good extension up top from De Silva. And we are tied suddenly at 4-4, Tim. Half the Lady Cardinals were down 4-1 just a moment ago. And I, I didn't get a number. I think that was uh, Kelly Reagan that, that brought it back across. Good job there. So see if, see if Lauren Castles can keep it up at the line. The, the Phillies have really done a better job this set here of a court awareness, what I call it, Tim. Knowing where the Lady Cardinals are kind of positioned across when finding some open areas. So the Lady Cardinals have done a great job of covering up this year, but they have left it open a couple of times in this set. I try to catch them uh, sneaking in or cheating in just a little bit. That's sometimes all you need. Here's the return back across set. Try to dink it, but good job from Earhart. It's going to sail out of bounds off the Lady Cardinals. The Silva will go to the Phillies. The Silva got a, a hand on that piece of that one. So out of bounds off Trinity Valley. Jump serve. Great job of Boss digging that one out. Nice dig. Keeps it back across the floor. Same spot. That's twice now the Lady Car the Phillies have seen that. That's something they've really done as far as their scouting report and their setting of the Lady Cardinals because they've gone to that area three times tonight, twice in this set and one time in the opening set. McGowan has caught them for two of the three. Getting up at the net. Yeah, Tasha's got to call a timeout here. Goto on the comeback. You got to stem this momentum right now, and yep. that's a great timeout. Eight for the score here, but, uh, you know, we talked about their – there were some times earlier this season that they had to reach deep, and that was on the road. So this one by no stretch of the imagination out of reach. So with the Cardinals taking a timeout here, uh, your thoughts? Well, this is this is the biggest lead for the Phillies now up by four, eight to four. Their previous biggest lead in this set was four to one. The Lady Cardinals fought back from that. So they've got the challenge now, plus one. 
but the Phillies, I really like the way they're moving on the floor, that they're attacking, and the court presence that they've got annoying uh, from that standpoint of where the Lady Cardinals are on their end of the floor. They've caught the Lady Cardinals snapping three times already tonight, and that's the first time I've seen that happen in a, set, in a match this year. Yeah, it has been impressive, uh, the, the amount of, of uh, willingness to go get it and get it done. So here we are with a little bit of a comeback in the works, 8-4. You just got to get that first one, though, is what I've heard Coach Spain say. It, it, what's the key to a comeback? Get the first one. Break serve and go on the attack. Then. That's right. Get it. Get that first one, then get your momentum shift the other way. So here's the serve. Cross-court pass. That one sells. It, it is. Lady Cards are contending that that was off of a player at the net. Tasha seems convinced. She's not going to win the argument, but she seems convinced. A little bit of a uh, conversation here with the captain. Yeah, only the captain can speak to an official, so Julian's going to ask for an explanation. Juju is contending, and I'm I'm going to go. I don't know her major, but I think it should be as an attorney. She's she's really <laughs> challenging and contending well. <laughs> Get, maybe not getting the explanation she wants, but. Uh, but she's extending the conversation. Absolutely. Get a better understanding for sure. 9 4 here, the score. As the. Uh, and the head that's official is saying this is long enough. That's a big point because instead of swinging back the other way, oh, it's now a five point game, so three. Cards trying to set it up. Juju with us come back. It's returned. Everything's just going the Phillies' way right now, and they've got a lot to do with that because they're moving in very more fluidly than they did in that first set. They're not standing on their flat foot so much. I was going to say, and I think they were a little bit challenged uh, at that time out there in the, as another point comes up. I think the coach challenged them in that huddle and said, hey, they just outworked you guys on the floor. What are you going to do in game two? And they look like a different team here in the second set. They absolutely do. Here's a... See, the Lady Cardinals are having to struggle for several times to keep rallies alive. Somebody's There's down. a great job at the net by Reagan. Looks like, uh, boy, there's a pain in De Silva as she's, one of those hands is giving her problems. She's down on the floor right now. So they're going to take a look at her. Uh, but 11 find the score here as they're attending to her. I was checking to see the fewest points the Lady Cardinals scored in a match that lost this year. And as you're looking for that, keep in mind this uh, this team has been prevalent on you know going three, winning three sets in a row, and that's the match on this season, except for one one time, I believe is what I heard you say. It's good to see as. Uh, Yasmin De Silva is up, the outside hitter for Trinity Valley. So she is. Looks like 18 is the fewest points the Lady Cardinals have scored in a set this year in a, in a, in a loss. So uh, number two checking into the ball game for Trinity Valley, Kamira. Kamira, we saw her earlier in that first set, and she goes to the service line. See if she can get things going the right way for the red and black here at Trinity Valley. Or in Athens, rather. Camaro with the dig, and now the push back. Just a little bit long on the just, just long. It's so a big hit, but it was just long, and now the Lady Carters really need something to turn the momentum. They just got a uh, just got a uh, a warning, I believe. The yellow card. You see the uh, the official pull it off the yellow card there for Trinity Valley. So a warning at this point. I, I didn't see what what prompted that. It's a nice return. Call it is, six. and a big kill by Reagan. Maybe that'll get them started, but that just shows to show you. I haven't seen the Lady Cardinals get out of sorts like that this year, so this is the first time that I've seen this. But they can, they'll shake themselves out of it. It's about to be a, a switch coming in 
for the Cardinals. It's going to be Amete to serve. She checks in for De Silva. Play high school ball at Mineola. Her dad's an assistant football coach there. And there's Boss. There's a little energy now on that end of the floor. Well, they're waking up on that one. And if you if you miss that first set, they, they will play about as good as you can. And now that looks like what we saw in set one. Oh, that's that could I get that one back across. That just kill you there. Frustrated on that one. So 13-7 here. See if they can break serve and get on a roll. It's going to take a roll now. Skims over the top of the net. Good hustle at the at the net for the Pointies. One volley. That is sells that wide. It is wide out off of uh, the Phillies on the return. So five point advantage here. Trinity Valley trying to climb all the way back here. They lead one nothing in set two on the ninth. Audrey Lopez at the service line out of Archer City, a sophomore. Audrey with a nice serve. Lady Cardinals doing a better job getting in position. Here's the ball coming right to you, Benny. They set it to you. And you I should get an assist or something. I'm going to go ahead and mark that down <laughs> at the 13-9. At the that would be a save is what that would be. <laughs> you save the monitors <laughs> and, more importantly, my eyeglasses. 13-9 <laughs> the score here. Trying to drive her back. Does a good job on that serve. But the return is uh, too hot to handle. Great job of the, on the, the return down the line in no man's land. That is a tough place to defend, isn't it? So 14-9, Panola. Boz. Got her at the line. That's going to be a point for the Cardinals. Lady Cards are showing signs of life, and this is the point of the match where you need to get back in it before it gets up near that 20 mark. As you and I have talked about it before, when you get to that 20 mark, I think, I don't know what the percentages are, the first team to 20 will close out a match more times than not, and that's not no great revelation on my part. You're, you're right, though, and it's, it's getting ever closer. Zandona with the serve. They are really playing well with their feet here the latter part of the set. Got a caught for the double palm. Hit. Double hit there. So about the time you think they are just about to jump start that motor and get it running, swings back the other way from three to that five point lead. Earhart sends it back. Point, ponies. The Phillies have definitely been the aggressor in this second set though, Tim. Yeah, they have. They've, they've taken the onus on themselves. I, I really think that the Phillies were challenged at the uh, at the break at the end of that first match, first set rather. A oh, great job, but Zandona keeping that alive oh, wow, and Vaz. Zandona and then Vaz, good job, Lopez. Castles with a great job of dinking the ball across the court, but you got to give Lopez for keeping that point alive. She went down and dig that one out. Yeah, everybody doing their job, those little things and playing with your feet, getting in the right position. Just within five, you're within the, you're within the same zip code anyway. Yeah, we've seen stranger things happen. Running jump serve. Why she probably would have let that go. She might have had a point. Into the net. Now then you've got a shot here. You've got a shot and you've got your best server at the line. She's got a powerful serve. It's, it's hard to handle. If she can pick up a couple of two or three points here, now suddenly you've got a game again. Here comes Juju Vaz at the line. Jump serve. Boy, that's a powerful blast coming right down on you. Good return or dig to set up the return. Here you go. And called in. A big hit. It looked like it went out from here, but I don't get, for the I don't have a flag in my hand. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the score all of a sudden. There's a big point in this match. Yeah, uh, absolutely. In this set, 16-13. And that's a good timeout by Amber McCray. Yeah, she feels the uh, the momentum shifting. Well, she swing. can see the Lady Cardinals are suddenly back up on their toes. They're moving. They're covering up again. And we saw them standing a little flat-footed there, a little down, a little dejected. Saw a yellow card issue. Yeah. 
and that switches out of character for the Lady Cards. Well, and also I was going to say, and she's telling her team right now in that uh, that Phillies huddle that you know what, <laughs> we got to get this second set. You got down two zero. We talked about how tough it is to come all the way back, uh, especially if you're in control of a set and then you can't finish it. So uh, big point of this match right here in set number two for Panola. Now, Coach. Spain and her squad are like, hey, we're, we're halfway there. Let's let's get all the way back in this thing. They have definitely they have definitely fought their way back into the contest. But this is a big point right here. So at the service line, it will be Juliana Juju Vaz. Well, she is, I don't want to say it, drive to the serve, but she's deadly with that serve. Nice one coming in. It's. That's a great set by the Phillies that time and the big hit that goes out of bounds off of the uh, Lady Cardinals. And Korea, uh, Daphne Korea coming big that time for Panola. Big point for the Phillies. At the line, it's going to be number 12, Lazoya. Trouble there. That is one of those. Well, that was one of the most massive hits that you'll see from De Silva, but she took just enough of it to cause an issue for the Phillies. Yeah, and as uh, she's trying to get over, it, like you said, Lazoya could not get there just well, enough off. Yeah, and she threw the timing of the trying to dig it out off, too, as well, because they're expecting it to come with some velocity, and it didn't have quite as much velocity, so it threw it off just it's enough, like I a, think. Like a changeup from a pitcher who's, who's got you set up in baseball. Great job at the net from Earhart to, to stay and defy gravity. But the Phillies come back with Well, a, the Lady Cards had too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were three, so. three players trying to play one ball. That was a tough, tough spot there as now it's back up to four. So they just get so close, so close, and then they can't get that one point that really brings them back into the contest. And I think the Phillies know we cannot let this crowd get back in this thing. We got to keep that advantage at four plus. That is returned into the uh, scores table, so point Cardinals. Now three point advantage and going to the line will be Camara. Uh, well, and this is one of those critical points too. We, they get within three, get within three, they can't get within two. You gotta get within two before you can pull it any closer, obviously. That's what the Lady Cardinals will be attempting to do here. Jump serve is set and Quite a little bit of confusion there. A couple of Phillies almost run into each other. Good. That's a great block. Credit number 13 with that great block, Godoy. Godoy with a nice job uh, just showing some power at the line. 19-15 Phillies. They've had some jousting going back and forth at the net tonight, huh? Second set, they really have. Setting it up. Again, takes a little bit off and gets the player maybe out of position. Kamara, good dig. That is in. It got on the line, down and, the line. And they were in position to make a play, but they made the, they made the option or chose the option of uh, letting it go, and there was the wrong option to take. Losing yourself on that court just enough because, like, as you creep in, all of a sudden you feel like that's going to be out. Just got part of that line. So it's three-point. Deficit for the cards. Can they come back? Oh, that's a killer. Amate uh, into the net. So with a four-point lead, it will be Panola serve. Ramirez out of Waxahachie returns <laughs> the favor. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. <laughs> so now it'll be Lopez getting a chance. Audrey out of Archer City. This is still very doable in this set. It would be a great comeback for the Lady Cards if they could pull it off. It starts with this point right here, though. Got enough of the Castle and then at Lopez and now pushing it back. That's going to be a point for the Cardinals as uh, Juju sent it back over, and it's within two. Benny. It's within two. Finally have cleared that three-point hurdle, the yeah. deficit of the three hurdle. And now you work on getting to within one, of course. Audrey Lopez at the service line. Setting it up. Oh, 
Eddie Cardinals run into each other in that set, and then that they, cost them getting back. They afterwards. did. Panola got them drawn into the middle of the floor and was, was smart enough to recognize that and be court aware. Not sure, was that Camara and Lopez that collided in the, the middle there? But nonetheless, it did take them out of position on the return. So three-point lead for the Phillies, 21-18. Amuet in the back line does a great job there. Trying to go to an empty spot, but a good return. That one off Castle, so now it's a four-point advantage. Tasha's going to use her second timeout of this second set. Down 22-18, good timeout. Yeah, I would tend to agree there. As you look at this uh, four-point deficit, you, you, you know, at one point they were down, was it six? I know at one point it was five. They, they clawed within three. Got it down to two. Uh, now a little answer for Panola, but we've seen this Trinity Valley team. They are not one to go away. They aren't, and they're going to need to rally here, and they're out of timeout, so they're going to have to do it all out on the floor now. There's going to be no more stoppages. Of course, this for the Panolas have been three of wrapping up this second set and evening the match at one and one. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a uh, definite must for Panola, you would think. I mean, they're already down one, uh, but if you look, you lose this second one already. You got that tough climb back down two. But the way they've handled this second set, you would think it would be lights out for them, at least mentally. Oh, no doubt about that. And they've done a great job of bouncing back from that opening set loss, coming back with a lot of energy. They've been the, the aggressor, I feel like, for the better part of this second set. And that's one of the reasons that they are up 22-18 here yeah. deep into this set. Good re return by them here in the second set. So here's the serve. Camara pulls it out. And there's a nice dig. It's a great dig. It'll be a point for Trinity Valley, though, as it's now three-point lead from that super return from Juju. Ramirez with the dig. Zendona's going to go to the service line for the Lady Cards. See if she can get on a roll here. We saw that last year a few times where she was able to Get things rolling. That sails wide. That's, that's we'll take that. It's down to a two-point game. 22-20. We'll talk about it's a game of inches. Boy, it really is. Here comes a uh, big serve from Anna Paula Zendona at the service line for the Lady Cardinals. Good dig. Could not return it back the other way as uh, Korea. Boy, that was a big hit. Korea, she's been impressive for the ponies. She's from Brazil herself. I was she's a 6'1 six, sophomore. A lot of these kids have played each other. No doubt years. about that, their and, entire lives. And now they come back and they're playing in the States. There's a spike back the other <laughs> direction. That was, a, a, that, that was teed up there. Good old fashioned. <laughs> Set it on the net for me. Castles with the 23-21. Can Juliana Voss get it done at the service line and pull this one out for the Lady Card? Stay tuned. Here's the serve. Jump Took serve. something off of it. Yeah. There's a prize there. Uh, again, taking a little bit off. That one's into the net. Wow. That's wow. Big. One, down one with the serve to come, see if this crowd can get in it here. At oh, Evans if the lady card's tied up, you ain't got to worry about the crowd being in it. Yep, this is a big one here, needless to say. Juju Vaz, jump serve. Oh. Goes long. And that brings it to set point, 24-22. The last person you would expect on the lady cardinal team to send one sailing long. Yeah, and on the previous one, she took a little bit off of it. That time she tried to go with that power serve. So set point. Across the net. Boy, that was a tough one to handle, but the uh, Panola Phillies are going to get the win on that. So headed to set three. It's one apiece as Panola takes set two, 25-22. And that second set lasted 19 minutes, just like the first one did, Tim, believe it or not. Wow. And it was a tighter, tightly more tightly contested, but more swiftly played. And uh, we are going to be at one and one as we go into the uh, 
third set here at the Athens High School Sports Arena. If you're just tuning in, you're going to say, "There's not; those aren't red seats. <laughs> well, no, they're not. They're maroon, folks, because we are at the Athens High School Sports Arena while Cardinal Gym, the renovations there are in the finishing touches. I would say they are 90, 95% done. And in two weeks' time on the 17th, when Tyler comes to town, we will roll out the new look Cardinal Gym, and you won't recognize the place in a lot of aspects. And uh, we hope that you'll join us in person. But if you can't, we hope you'll join us here on the Cardinal Sports Network. I was about to say, do not adjust your monitors at home. <laughs> That's, uh, it, it, it is maroon. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to set three here this evening. This is a huge one. Now, we talked about, uh, you know, obviously if Panola couldn't hold on to that one, but now it's brand new match. Well, it is because now then winning this third is so important because you get to number, you get to, to the second win there, and then you're the one, the, you're the team on the floor that's one away. All the pressure would be on the opposite team. Absolutely. We've got some big games coming up here. We'll be broadcasting here for uh, Cardinal Sports Network. October 10th, Navarro comes to town. That's a week from tonight. That'll be right back here at Athens High School. Uh, 645 is when we hit the air and then uh, game time for seven. And then like you mentioned earlier, Benny, two weeks from tonight, the reveal at Trinity Valley on campus there with Cardinal Jim and the upgrade with TJC coming to town. Yeah, what a night that's gonna be. I can just envision the place being packed that night for, as the folks from the community come out to see Cardinal Jim for the first time and to support the Lady Cardinal volleyball team. Of course, we mentioned earlier, the Lady Cardinals can take care of business tonight and get a win. And right now they're tied one and one, folks, in this match against Panola. And if Navarro wins at home tonight against Tyler, the Lady Cardinals would clinch a regional tournament playoff berth, which would be their fifth in nine years. So that that's uh, something to keep an eye on here. Coach Spain uh, had had a uh, a good talk with her team. Got got the focus, I think, and they not. I don't think that they ever really lost focus. They just kind of drifted somewhat, just a little bit. They did, and here's what I think is so important here in this third set is for the Lady Cardinals more so than the Phillies to get off to a good start. Because the Phillies are riding the momentum of having won that second set. The Lady Cardinals need something positive to happen early on to give them that little energy and a little boost that they need to take care of business. Because we see how they are when they play with a wave of momentum behind them. I think you're exactly right. Looking forward to the third set. It's one apiece. I'm Tim Howard now here with Play by Play. Benny Rogers. Thanks, Tim. And we are tied at one and one here at the Athens High School Sports Arena. The Lady Cardinals will be uh, receiving serve, I believe, here in the uh, third set. Yep, going to be at the service line. It's going to be number eight, Molly Harris for the uh, Phillies. She's a sophomore out of White House, Texas, not too far down the road from uh, Carthage. And we're going to be underway here at about, um, they're about ready to get us underway right now at the 7.58 mark. First two sets took a combined 38 minutes to play. Boom. Talk about a great start. That's what we saw in the first set. Lauren Castles gets the set and gets the kill. Yeah, Lauren is going to have to have some help pulling her arm out of the scoreboard <laughs> overhead because she was up there, man. No question. Since Julianne Voss to the service line, a big, powerful serve into the net. Now, she's missed her last two serves, and that's so unlike Juju. Yeah, don't, you, you don't want to start having to think about it, too. I mean, start playing mind games a little bit if, if back to back. Like that. that running jump serve that she has is so natural. It is. Julianne with the overhand shot. Nice block by Lauren Castles. Back to back, Lauren, two big points early in this third set for Lauren Castles. Nicola also in on the play at the net. She's into the contest for the first time, number nine. She's another one of the Brazilians on the squad. Castles at the service line. Boom. But that's the fourth time tonight we've seen that happen. So the lady, yeah, I got to give the Phillies a lot of credit. They've really studied their scouting report and done a great job of scouting to know that that area is open from time to time. I'm going to ask who's bringing the marshmallows. There was a campfire <laughs> waiting to happen right there. <laughs> nice job of Nikolai. Absolutely. That sails long. Well, that one got away from her in a hurry. Thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Thanks to our very talented, dedicated team for bringing you the sights and the sounds 
here from the Athens High School Sports Arena. De Silva. Good effort. Reagan. Kelly Reagan. Man, that ball is firing across. Hannah Ramirez got a, arm, a hand on that, and it literally took her arm backwards. That thing was coming like a rocket. Much better start in this third set than we saw in the second set from the Lady Cardinals. Kimura at the service line. That looked like it sailed long, but it was called in. One of the nice features of this sports arena, I don't know if you looked around, Tim, is the big ceiling fans. Oh, those it kind of gives it a homey feel, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I'm looking for the remote right now. Like, where? <laughs> you know, this, is, this is a great facility. It really is. Congratulations to the folks at Athens ISD. That's an excuse me dig right there. Nice job at the line. Great wow. dig by Lopez. Oh. Lady Cards can't do anything with it, but it was a great dig nonetheless. Audra Lopez getting down some way somehow, got underneath it, but could not control it back across the way. And stop me if you've heard this before, it is four to four. Yeah, good match here tonight. <laughs> mm. Well, the Phillies have just been a different team since that first set. Godoy uh, with a nice comeback that time. She's been impressive at the net as well. Eddie Cars need to find something positive here. Not left and there's something positive. It's a bad bad break for the Phillies, but it was something positive for the uh, Lady Cards. Notice how they set. They didn't get the point on it, but they set to the middle of the net that time for Juju. And she came off that middle line. The Silva at the service line. Well, Reagan just went up at the net, didn't do anything, but just her mere presence alone affected the play. The shadow began to creep <laughs> in, and she's like, what am I going up against? A great <laughs> job just being, making her presence known. Six, five lady cards. Sales wide, that's giving points away is what that's called. And that's one of those where you, you start wondering how much fatigue's playing in because you, you see, catch your breath a little bit, but more than anything, just miss hit that one. Yeah, these kids are playing hard. That's going to be a gift back the other way. One gift deserves another. So with the 7 6 here are the Cardinals. Lopez serves, gets it in play. Nice block by guess who? Well, Seth. Castles there on, you go. On point there, Lauren Castles doing it. Your first two guesses don't count. I was going to say, I only need half a guess. I'm going <laughs> Castles. She's done that 72 times tonight. Uh, and I'm not off that far. That's, that's an awesome job. She's doing great. And guess who that is? That's Zendona. Zendona doing uh, They're the twin towers at the net. Massive response. That ball was blocked off of Panola into the stands. <laughs> I'm, I'm cracking up. Juju gave her a big hug, and she's hollering in her ear. Zandona's like trying to, I can't hear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> a little punch. What's what that was. That was some nice razzle-dazzle right there. That's like you play on Sunday afternoon. I do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very deadly with that, actually. Um, okay. Not in that way, but it is deadly if I'm on a court. A good timeout by Amber McCray here now, since that the Lady Cardinals have kind of re regained their stride. Yeah, they have. And she's done a good job tonight, I think, trying to stop that momentum, trying to stop the, the energy. And Trinity Valley at times in this match has really started to put the pedal down, and they've always been able to break that. So trying to do it yet again. But with Coach uh, Spain over there, I think she's seeing what – She's been trying to get out of her, her team right now. She had a quick talk with them. And now they're ready to go. You kind of sense the Lady Curtains have caught a second wind here now. Yeah. They're, 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 they got the daubers down a little bit there in that second set, just a little bit. Tried to fight back, but could never get over the hump. But you sense now that they've got a different energy about them. You're exactly right. You Did you say in the pregame that of their 
Uh, 16 wins, 15 were decided in the first three sets. Or was I wrong on that? Did no, I? 12 of the 16 have been. 12 of the 16. Yeah. So yeah. very rarely has anyone gotten a uh, uh, even a, ma a, a, a set. Oh, absolutely, out of yeah. I mean, more than 80% of the time, they're, they're winning in three that, sets. And that's impressive. That is crazy. And we saw it from them last year as well. Sure. Here we're back to play. Lopez with that set and serve. One of the longest rallies of this match so far tonight, and that was not that long, but it just shows you how quickly we've seen points, points in. Yeah, Camara tried to go underneath to get it, but could not. Good effort, but could not get there. It was a good timeout by McCray. Stopped the Lady Card scoring surge, but Ju guess who? Juju. <laughs> Juju. Juju doing it. <laughs> Boz is so explosive. Need to get you a T-shirt. Juju doing it. Juju doing it. I don't know. Is that trademark? <laughs> Might ought to be after that. <laughs> Zendona now at the service line. Nice block, but it goes out of bounds off of the uh, Lady Cardinals. Castle's, uh, That's strong. so frustrating when you get yourselves in position, you make a good block, and the ball goes out of bounds. Just went out, out of bounds on her, but man, she's so strong up top. Castles has played well tonight. 11 to 8, Lady Cards. Boom. <laughs> no chance. I will say right now, if the ball is set in that manner and she's got her entire strength coming from that position, it's you've got over. zero chance. It's over. And how you want to be, how you like being on the front line over there? Okay, I got Castles faking it one way, and then here comes Juju over the top. Oh. Wow. Lady looks on your side when that happens, and he counts as one full point, too. <laughs> Zandona was a little frustrated. She literally almost took a bite on the ball. She had, she had it right in front of her. She's like, ah. And they get a gift back the other way. You remember Navarro had a player a couple of years ago. I think she wore number 10. I forget the young lady's last name. But every time she was set from the right side and she came with that full, full power, yeah. it, it was automatic. It was like a windmill just cranked up and boom. Juju's similar, very similar. No argument here. What an athlete. Oh. Little she far knew back. she missed that one. She knew she'd missed that one. Yeah, she was she a little bit far back on that. So that's one she would like to have back. She's frustrated with herself on that one. Big point in the game match here. Absolutely. Easy one there for the uh, Cardinals as De Silva was able to go, hey, that's going out yeah, with the cell wide. Phillies are giving up a couple of points here, and then that could really add up here at the end of this thing is because you figure it's going to be close at the end. But it's so important to win this third set, Tim, to get up 2-1. Yeah, it is. It puts all the pressure on the other team. The pendulum definitely turns or swings. Good return. How about nice it? job. De Silva. De Silva. She's had a really nice match so far tonight. She's playing well. Good job. And how about the uh, the dig over there by Audrey Lopez to, to even get to that point? Oh, absolutely. And the nice thing about De Silva, as we mentioned earlier, just a freshman. That FR by their names means a lot. <laughs> Especially when they're getting big minutes in the, in the contest. What an effort. Nice job of keeping the point alive. Camara. Juju, and then all the way back across. Great. Got to finish Let's see if they can here. Oh. Well, that was a frustrating moment. Julianne there. saw where the ball was coming, but her body just didn't get in there quite quick enough and at the angle that she could she could keep it alive. Well, that was a they, – they put a lot out both sides on that volley. They absolutely did. Extending a lot of energy. 15-11, Lady Cards at the service line for the Phillies is number seven, McGowan. I just love the passion they play with. You know, I mean, they oh, just, Both they, teams are playing hard, just, and I guarantee you. They are giving it all they got. Region 14 East Zone has some of the best basketball teams in the nation. The four teams in the zone, East Zone are all ranked, and that is going to be long. They are 
they're contending for it, but not going to get that thought that it might have been touched at the net. Now we see Panola kind of in the position that the Lady Cards are in. They get within three, but can they get it within two? No. Oh, my goodness. Boy. They have given away three points in this set. Can you overcome giving away three points in a set? Not usually, especially when you're trying to climb all the way back, and that's uh, unfortunate there. Is great break for the Cards. They've got a chance to extend now up by four. Great job of the Phillies of fighting back, though. Yeah, Reagan got a piece of that at the net. But the Phillies, you're right, will not go away. Team that walks out of here the winner tonight will have earned this, Tim. Yeah, they're, they're definitely doing that, Benny. It's one of those nights where uh, both teams are, it's a slugfest. You know, they, they both need this one in conference play. Demery at the service line, dying serve. Good hands out of nowhere to save that one. Great effort. Wow, that nullifies De Silva's. Well, that was a great right. save. Yeah, De Silva goes out and lays out to get it. 16-14, so they've gotten within two now, Tim. Now they can work on getting it even closer. That tight rope, the net. Tasha's going to call a timeout here. Yeah, that ball just climbed the net. 16-15, she senses that Panola has got that momentum now, and you can see those kids were up on their toes as they came off the floor. They do have the energy in the building. It's a good chance to refocus, get everybody on the same page, and then, you know, get them, give them a drink, let them catch your breath a little bit, and, and get that laser intensity that... Tasha Spain teams are known for. Listen to the Cardinal Pet Band. Resuming play after the Lady Card timeout, 16-15 Lady Cards. Here in the third set, we are tied at one. Lady Cards took the first set, 25-17. Panola came back in the second set to win 25-22. Oh exactly what the Lady Cards <laughs> needed. The perfect execution of a set and a kill. Kelly Reagan uh, just blew that one up. I don't know if you caught the I, th I think it was number 10, Demiri. Her face said it all. She got up with a big smile like, no, I wanted to live to play another day. <laughs> <laughs> Castles with a great block. Castles with a big hit. Castles, Castles with a point. Boy, she's playing so well. Lauren Castles out of Archer City. And she's got an FR beside her name as well. Yeah, a couple of freshmen with big moments in this ball game uh, this evening. Castle's got part of it at the net. Wow, what an what effort. Great job by Castles. Boss with a kill that wow. sails wide. Going all the way back to a couple of, of volleys before. De Silva made a great play in the back line to get it up to Castles, but uh, cards don't finish. 18-16. Pony's still alive. Phillies, rather, excuse me. It's going to sail out of bounds off the Lady Cards. That's going to go off of... Camara? Camara. No, oh, that, check that. Was that Camara? Camara, okay, it was two. 18-17, not much oh. longer it is, though. <laughs> Love the intensity Juju. on the face. Just says it all. Juju. So it's time to quit playing around. Nic Nikolai checks back into the contest for the Lady Cards, number nine. She's at the net. Sandona to serve. Oh. 
Nice block by Nikolai. Big time hit that time for the Phillies. Is that 15 radius? Yeah, De Silva tried to get it, but could not. It short hopped her and so called on the uh, for the kill there. Good job. Chance for the Phillies to pull even in this one. We were tied at 4-4 at one point. Credit them, they have not gone away. That sails long, great decision by Lopez. There's another gift, that's four gifts now in this set. And I was gonna say, as Lopez is having to make that split second decision, that's so such great, great reactionary time because you don't have time to think about it very much. Juju at the service line. Big kill, the winner for the Phillies. They wow. just won't go away, Tim. They will not go away. And oftentimes we're talking about getting to 20 first, but, you know, here it's 2019. Yeah, There's so not much difference there. Yeah, it's a big, big battle here in the third set. Ware serving for the Phillies. That sells long. And we are tied at 2020. Here we go. First one to 25 wins. Must win by two. Match is tied 1-1. One, one. Big block. Getting that one was number four, Dilemma. Yeah, Sabrina Dilemma, a freshman, coming strong to the net. And I guarantee you, folks, the loser of this third set will have a ton of weight on their shoulders going into that fourth set because they've got to win two, two all of a sudden. That's a big double hit there. So the Lady Cards feeling a little bit of pressure here, needless to say, down two. Kawani Kranksky checks into the contest for the Lady Cards, number 15. It's all going the Phillies way here late in this set. And the Tasha's going to use her second and final timeout of the second set down 23 to 20. Yeah, they got a mount of comeback now. Man, you, yeah, they do, Tim. You've worked hard. You've worked hard. You've worked hard. Now it, is, it could slip away from you here just all of a sudden, and then you'll be down two sets to one, having to win the final two to pull out, keep your winning streak alive, protect your number six national ranking. And if you, if you look back to that first set of the night, 25-17 Trinity Valley, and they they came out just handling the, uh, the Phillies of Panola. Well, the second set, 25-22, and now Panola coming back after Trinity Valley got off to a good start, and they're saying, yeah, it wasn't an aversion. Uh, that second set, we're, we're the real deal here. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough, tough mount to climb for Trinity Valley. It really is, because that first set, I'm not going to say it was easy, but there was little, little press, very little pressure and stress on the Lady Cardinals in that one. They, you're, that's how I would describe it as well. I mean, they, they never really looked like they were in any kind of a challenge as far as having to overcome. And, uh, boy, they're certainly in that mode now. They've got a long way to come back. Yeah, man, when momentum switches sides, it just it just is not fair. <laughs> Kransky uh, couldn't do anything with that. It was pushed her all the way to the net. So this is going to be match set. They're going to try and get a little time here for uh Amalette is going to check into the game for the a uh, Lady Cards. Almost had double substitutions coming in for Trinity Valley there. Lopez. And that is long on the return. That's going to wrap up the third set. Lady Cardinals are going to fall 25 to 20. It took uh, 12, 18, it took 20 minutes to play the uh, third set. The first set went off in 19, the second set in 19, and that third set took 20 minutes. Lady Cards fall 20 to 25. They're now down two to one. To win this one tonight, they'll have to go five sets. They beat the Phillies in Carthage last month 3-0, but credit to 
Panola for coming in here tonight. And draw, after dropping the first set, 25 to 17, in a, in a set that we've described as being stress-free for the Lady Cards, quite honestly, the Phillies have really done a great job of turning the momentum around and becoming the aggressive team in the late next two sets. They do. They, they have, have done a terrific job after dropping three uh, just a few weeks ago and then this first set of tonight to turn it around like they've done, 25-22 in match two, 25-20. In the third set, more importantly, having to come all the way back as they were down. Uh, we saw Trinity Valley try to do that in the second match, but never could quite get up and over that hump. So Cardinals and Coach Swain's telling them right now, ladies, we've got to come out and finish. we got to get a good start and then finish. And another thing that happened in that third set, we said the Lady Cars needed to get off to a good positive start, and they did. Yeah. But the Phillies had an answer for that. Lady Cards answered back, but Panola had the big answer, those final five, six points of the match. And it, it, uh, it's been impressive what, what the Phillies have been able to do. I mean, uh, you, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's one thing to see it on paper. It's another thing to accomplish it. Uh, on the court, especially against a talented team like Trinity Valley. I don't know if that young lady knows that she's getting a lot of air time tonight, but <laughs> she's, 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 really she's, having a good, she's, she's really having a good time here. <laughs> Branson showed her a few moves before the broadcast, and boy, it looks like it paid off for her. Great job, Branson, showing her that <laughs> those moves. Better you than me, though, friend. Better you than me. So it's going to be – all important, get up like Well, all the pressure in this, now this is, you're talking about playing with pressure. Sure. It's all on the Lady Cardinals here because they have the ones who've got to win to force this to a fifth set. If they don't, you got to give Kimbella credit. Coming on the road is the number 16th ranked team and defeating the number 16. And what's the ironic about that is when the Lady Cardinals beat Carthage, uh, beat Panola in Carthage last month, Panola was ranked sixth. Wow. So, I mean, we, we're talking about two teams that know their way around this uh, this top ten, both of them well representing Region well, 14 and the nation. Absolutely, you got Navarro number five. You've got the Lady Cars number six. You've got Tyler number 14. You've got Pan and Tyler's winless in conference, and they're ranked number 14. And Panola's ranked number 16. That's four teams in the top 20 in the same zone. In the yeah. I mean, that's a great national tournament, right? There. <laughs> you would have a pretty pretty good following to see all that competition at a tournament, wouldn't you? So you absolutely right. would. We are headed to the fourth set. The Lady Cardinals are down two to one. Won the first set 25-17, lost the second set 22-25, and the third set 20-25. And with the play-by-play -play in this fourth set, Tim Howard. Thank you, Benny Rogers. It'll be Zandona trying to set the pace here as the uh, cards are down 2-1. And Zandona with the jump serve. A little long on that return, and it goes into the net. So early point goes to Panola. I, I will say this, Tim. The Lady Cardinals played Saturday here in a non-conference game against Cedar Valley. That was their only game of that previous week. So the, they had been in a routine where they were playing one, two, three, four games in a week, and they just played one game in that span. And maybe they're just a little bit out of sync, so to speak. Knock a little of that rust off, perhaps. It's 1-1 after the service error. There's a rocket. It's fielded, though, and sent back. And that will be a kill for number one, Korea. Daphne Korea has played well tonight. She really has. The Lady Cards will be at home here at the Sports Arena Saturday in a non-conference game against Brookhaven College. That one begins at noon. There's no admission, so come on out, folks. There's a strong smash at the net from Lauren Castles. So that'll tie it up at two, Lauren Castles. Boy, she's, she's just good up top, isn't she? She absolutely is. She's had a really strong night tonight. Now at the service line. Lady Cards trying to get it to a fifth set. That's a uh, un unforced error there. Coaches talk about defining moments. Sometimes those... Those are such killers, but we've seen it on both sides well, tonight. Well, let's remember, the Phillies won that third set 25 to 20, and they had four of those. Yeah, that's that's a good point there. Strong oh, up top. Nothing at the net has gone the Lady Cards' way since that first set. I've never seen it turn as dramatically as it has tonight. That's what I was about to say. It looked like the Lady Cardinals were on springboards. I mean, they were just head and shoulders above the uh, Phillies in that first set. 
That's going to be on the over the line. So 5-2. Panola trying to pull away up three now. You just don't want to let this steamroll, Tim, because this is this is it if you don't get to take care of business here. Good decision from Yasmin Da Silva to let that go out. So it's back to a two-point lead. Coming in to serve is going to be Lavia Camara. Camara out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Need to get her on a little bit of a run here. Did he get someone on a row? Yes. Juju pulls it up. There's the push. Good play at the line from Reagan. Nice job from Kelly Reagan. The sophomore out of South Grand Prairie High School did a great job of the net that time, getting the block. And the Lady Cards pull within one, 5-4. Zandona and Kelly right there at the line, as well as uh, De Silva serving is Camara. Splits the two Lady Cards that time right between Delima, Camara and Delina. Or Vaz, rather, I'm sorry, Camara and Vaz, Delina with a nice smash. Uh, yes. So here comes number four, Delima at the line. Going down and getting it. Make them pay here. Good job at the net. That, that play was made in the previous second. I didn't see who got it, uh, but one of the lady cards goes down on the floor, sacrifices the body to get it. And that's what it's all about. You've got to go to give that extra effort here because you're trying to turn, not just trying to win this set, th fourth match, fourth set, I should say, but you're trying to turn momentum to get you in a good position going into that fifth set. To Silva with a serve. That goes off of her arms up and the corridor. I've really been impressed with the way Panola has played tonight. Yeah, Panola's playing really well. It's it's uh, two two quality of teams out oh, here. Oh, there's no doubt the about it. Match. You see two of the best teams in the nation right here on this floor. Smash right there. Just took her head off. Kelly Reagan. Reagan's playing well here in uh, the fourth set. It's a one-point advantage for Panola. Lady Cards have to win to send this to a fifth and final set to where you, you have the first team to reach 15, winning by two would win the match. 7-6 the score. That will sell long and that'll tie it up and the Lady Cards are all the way even here. So keep it going. You see the thumbs up from Vaz on the floor. Well, she's the heart and soul of this Lady Cardinal team. There's no question about that. They go as she goes. Lopez gets it back across the net. Castles with a little dink. Good job from Castles and then forced it. A little too much on it. She saw where she wanted to go, but didn't quite get the angle and hit it just a little a bit little, too. A little too much. Too much. 8-7. Good one going here in set four. If you're just tuning in, Cardinals down 2-1, uh, trying to force a game. A fifth set. That's going to be in just... Uh, they made the decision to let it alone, and it sailed in for an ace serve. Wow, nicely done that time from number eight, Molly Harris. Harris out of White House. Amoet has checked back into the contest for the Lady Cardinals, number eight, a sophomore out of Mineola High School. Into the net. Boy, that one. Uh, that. Well, I hope those add up in the Lady Cards' favor because they certainly didn't in the uh, third set. Yeah, that's that's for sure. You look look around, and they've had several of those here in this in this match, and yet they're leading two to one. So chance to tie it up at the at service line here. I'm unable to send that back on the bat. Yeah, the Lady Cards have gotten caught up flat-footed more tonight probably than any match I've seen them play this year. And you got to give credit to the quality, the quality opponent that you're also as playing. Yeah, there, there's a lot of quick feet out there. Castles getting the point to bring it back within one. Yeah, they stayed within one and had it tied, but they need to go on a little bit of a spurt here, Tim, just to get some momentum because it's hard when you're exchanging points to gain momentum. Of course, it really doesn't matter as long as you get to 25 before the other team does how much momentum you've got. Lauren Castles uh, playing big at the line. Here's the serve for Voss. Caught the line. Finding an empty spot. Just a good, good vision on the floor. 
Every time the Lady Cards have crept closer or threatened to maybe do something, the, the Phillies have had the answer. Yeah, they have. Here's the serve from Lozoa. Pass back across the court. She just <laughs> missed it. The Silva. Every net court has gone the way of the Phillies since that first set. I swear it has. It, it seems exactly that way. And that's one that De Silva just was looking at her hands like, I can't believe I missed that. I Got to be careful here. You're down three. You don't want to drift any further behind than three. There's Earhart with a spike, but it's, it's turned. Trouble. And now they. Nice job. Well, the leg's got to be burning right now for both teams. And there is a point coming for the Lady Cardinals. I thought we were in a tight spot. That ball ricocheted off the assistant coach there. <laughs> she showed some quick feet to uh, move it on. So it's back to within two point match here. Paige Brown checks into the contest for the Lady Cards to go to the service line. Serving. Well, that is gonna sell long off of balls. Out of bounds off the Cardinals. The Phillies pull it back out to a three-point lead. Castles is going to check back into the contest along with, not out of the contest, I should say, for Lopez is coming back in at the libero position. So they've got Earhart as well as Reagan and uh, Zandona on the front line for Trinity Valley here. Bodies flying all over the court here in Athens. That's, That's going to be wide. wide. Yeah, sales wide, Tim. Big point. That, like you said, it was a three-point game. You definitely don't want to go that four. It's so just not, not so much as the early part of the, uh, the what the second or the third set. There, have we seen Lady Cardinals string together a series of points though? And you got to you got to at this point. Boy, good effort. They got it back across. And oh, fine. great job by Kelly Reagan. She saw the floor. She knew that back line was open. Yeah, Reagan saw him cheating in, and she pushed it deep, found just enough space back there to get the point. Chance to tie. Here's Kamara at the service line trying to tie it up here. That is off of the... Uh, Someone up at the net, then off of the diving balls. I think it went off of Zendona initially, and then Juliana Voss attempted to save it, yeah, and it goes effort. off of her, but the, the damage was already done at that point. Yeah, she knew I have to at least get out there and try because it's going to be on us if I don't. A little bit long on the return, and the cards are in trouble here. So it'll make it 15-12, uh, a three-point lead now. Tasha's going to use her first time out of this uh, fourth set. Her body language uh, says it all there. She's watching her team come off the floor. Of course, Tasha's always under control. You never mm -hmm. see her lose, lose her cool, and she's very calm when she talks to the ladies, but she still has a way of getting her point across. I saw that same look a few moments ago when she was talking to the official, even though she can't talk to the official. <laughs> uh, I guess it was match two. Um, it, was, it was quite entertaining. Uh, between the back and forth. But yeah, she's, she's definitely saying, guys, we got to finish here. Let's get it going. We're, we're not, this isn't by any means out of reach. We can win this thing and then come back in the fifth, but we're not making it easy on ourselves. Yeah, it's at a critical point too, Tim, because then I know it's 15, 12, and there's plenty of, plenty of this fourth set to go, but you can't continue to face these three-point deficits the rest of the way. Because you, if you if you manage to catch up, you usually have burned a lot of energy getting there, and sometimes you can't finish the deal. Yeah. What are, what are you going to have left uh, if you can get to that fifth set? Is the uh, telltale sign? Well, I think you get re you'd be refreshed though, because you you've got new life. The, the same pressure's on them as it is you all of a sudden. But right now, all the pressure is on the end of the floor with the team in red. Yeah. As a trail by three, serving for Panola, it is Delima. Just dinked it over the top. Great job Save. by Lopez. My goodness alive. 
Audrey Lopez. Challenging right in front of us here. There's the captain is wanting to challenge that on the far side. They're saying she didn't get under it. Um, but I, I'm with you. I think Lopez was the one that. Now the captain is going to want to talk to him. Here comes a card, yellow card on Trinity Valley. And Juju was uh, trying to contend over there. Well, they're saying that, that Audrey did, didn't get the ball cleanly. In that case, I'm curious as to why it's not called immediately instead of volley back and forth. So here comes the serve over the top or the return, and that goes down. It's good. So now five-point advantage here, Panola pulling away. Yeah, it's not looking good for the home team, as they say. They've got to dig down now and find a way to uh, put on any energy and reserve that they've got as Robin Deserins checks into the contest number three for the Lady Cards. Yeah, Deserins going to try and be a spark here. Try and buy some time for one of the aces for the cards. That sells long. Well, I said Tasha Did was somebody get caught. a piece of it. She's saying, yeah, top at the net. She thought somebody got part of that ball. That's why it went long. But you don't see Tasha that emotional very often. There's the good long decision start. there, but it was close. <laughs> so back to a five point lead here. Lady Card's got to get hot and get hot in a hurry as De Silva goes to the service line. Back up front will be Juju. She got just a brief minute to catch her breath. So Calm down just a little bit. Yeah, Juju, Reagan, and Zandona on the front line. Set coming right. That's the long over the top off of uh, Vaz. Yeah, and what starts happening now if you're the team that's facing the deficit, negative thoughts to keep creeping into you, start creeping into your mind, Tim, and, and that works against you. So they're checking uh, to see the next server here for the ponies to check in, just confirming. But, yeah, you're right, six-point advantage, and we got a lot of ground to make up. A lot of ground to make up just to get to that fifth set. So let's see what the Lady Cards can do here. They got to dig deep. Here's the serve into the net. That'll help. That'll help. That'll help. That's a great way to start. But you've got, some of it you've got to do on your own, though. You've, yeah. got to, you've got to do some things. I don't think they're going to give you five more no. into the net. I mean, I, I don't think I, so. I can't confirm that or deny, <laughs> but I doubt. Seriously. So here's Lopez. She gets the serve over the right side. There's a rocket. Well, I'm going to sum it up this way, Tim. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's looking good for the Phillies right now. But if the Phillies come in here and win, they would have come in here and won this game. The Lady Cardinals didn't necessarily lose it because I am very impressed with this Philly team. Yeah, they, they have played extremely well, especially on the heels of what happened just a few weeks ago when they got swept. There's a nice vision. Lauren Castles. Castles, yeah. She read the floor really well, just dinked the ball over to her right, found an open spot. Keeps the Lady Cardinals with, a, with a, at least a pulse anyway. Camara checks out Earhart into the ball game, and now at the service line is Zandona for Trinity Valley. They get a point on this return. Great job at the line. Going to get another opportunity. Boy, everything has fallen in for the Phillies since that first set. Yeah, they've, really, they've gotten the net cords and they've gotten balls just to stay within the boundaries, which is a, a credit to them. But, boy, everything close has gone their way. It's been a, uh, a definite momentum shift since that first one. Castles with a strong spike there on the slam. Cards down by five. Right on top of the line, ready to go is Juju trying to get some momentum going. You've got to outscore them 9-2 the rest of the way. See if they can do it. Here's the shot. Gets it started. 
That's going to bounce off of, I'm not sure if it was Castles or De Silva, but out off of Trinity Valley. Well, and Panola's inching ever so close, sir, to finishing this one out. Leading by six. Boy, what happened? <laughs> I was going right at Coach May. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take it, though. It she gets her said, team I, a point. Thank you very much. It's a five-point contest, and Castles checks out. Here comes uh, Brown, Paige Brown, checking in to serve. Paige Brown out of Conroe, Texas, a sophomore. If she transferred in from one of the Kansas schools. Pushed them back on that line, try to make them work, and there's a Oh, that, that spot in the floor was completely wide open there. Wow. How about that from uh, Daphne Korea? She's done it all night long. Well, we've seen a very impressive Panola team here tonight. Lady Cardinals haven't been at their best, but you can't take anything away from what Panola has done. They got a squad. Lady Cards, we talked about Region 14, man, and it, it is the real deal. Got a piece just enough to keep it alive. Lady Card's going to set and return. Boy, that's Reagan. Super. Yeah, Reagan says, let me take out about a uh, <laughs> five, six-point frustration. That'll cut it to five. Had a little extra oomph on that one, Vinny. A little extra is an <laughs> understatement. Yeah, Camara coming to the service line. It's going to bring us to match point, Tim. That was just wise move that time from uh, Kroninski. Excuse me, number 15, that's Radius. She saw a spot, pulled back, and found it. Here's match point. Kamara setting it up, a cross court pass off the nog. And that'll keep it alive. So uh, within five now, still match point, 24-19. You've got to fight off a lot of match points, but we've seen it done before. And it has been done before. Absolutely. Here comes the serve from the Silva. Jump serve on the right side. And that's too much there, and that will do it. Jubilant Panola team gets the win tonight. Final score, 25-19 here in the fourth set to close out the match. That does close it out. The Phillies win by a 3-1 count. They dropped the first set 25-17, came back to win 25-22, 25-20, and 25-19. Panola improves to 16-4 overall, 2-2 two two in conference play. The Lady Cardinals drop to 16-2 overall and fall to 2-2 two two in conference play. The Lady Cardinals will be in action again here on Saturday at noon against Brookhaven College in a non-conference match. They will return here next Wednesday night to take on number five ranked Navarro, who's playing Tyler in Corsa Cannon tonight in a 7 p.m. contest here at the Sports Arena. We will have that for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. So for our entire talented Cardinal Sports Network team and Tim Howard, this is Benny Rogers bidding you good night from the Athens High School Sports Arena.